Welcome to iLecture Online, and here our next video, trying to understand the electron structure in atoms, we're going to talk about probably one of the greatest mysteries in science ever, which is the mystery of the atom. Because of everything that the scientists understood several hundred years ago, they could not figure out why an atom should even exist in the first place, because it seemed to violate all laws of physics and chemistry. So, looking at a typical atom, a very simple typical atom, the hydrogen atom, which has a single proton in the middle and an electron zip around the nucleus at very high speeds. Well, since the electron is going around in circles, in a spherical shaped orbit, so to speak, around the nucleus, it is constantly accelerating. And to, to give you an idea why that is so, we can go back to the idea that, of course, it feels a force of attraction, and that force of attraction is due to the Coulomb forces. The oppositely charged proton is attracted to the negatively charged uh, electron, the positive charged proton, negatively charged electron, they're attracted. If that wasn't the case, the electron, of course, would follow Newton's first law and just go in a straight path. But because of the attractive forces, the electron is being pulled around into a circle orbit, which means it's being accelerated. And so we can say that the centripetal force, which is mv squared over r, is equal to kqq over r squared. qq is simply the charge of the electron and the charge of the proton, which is a single charge. k is just a constant, and r is the radius of the orbit. Let's call this r right there. It turns out that v squared over r, by definition, acceleration, so this is the mass times the centripetal acceleration, is equal to k q q over r squared and we can say that the centripetal acceleration is equal to k times i'll just write it like this this is the electron charge we'll square that um, and we probably don't need the negative this is simply the symbol that we use for a single electron or single proton charge divided by the mass divided by the radius squared so we can see that there is indeed a term an acceleration term here the electron is being accelerated the second thing that scientists knew is that whenever something is accelerated, any time a charged particle is moving back and forth or being accelerated or make uh, force to go around in a circle, circular path, we know that then it would radiate out energy. So the second aspect is that any charged particle going around a circle would continuously radiate out energy. Now what happens to a particle when it radiates energy? Well, it would then have less and less and less energy. And as it would have less and less and less energy, Wow, if you think about it this way, the kinetic energy of a particle is equal to one half mv squared. So if the kinetic energy goes down, guess what else goes down? The velocity goes down. And if the velocity goes down, this equation right here is no longer balanced. If the velocity goes down, then the left side goes down and it no longer becomes, uh, then it becomes less than the Coulomb forces. What would happen then is the Coulomb forces would then begin to pull the electron in and the electron would spiral inward and inward and inward and collide with the proton and once that happens once the electron collides with the proton the atom would no longer exist because the structure of the atom is determined by the electron so that was a big mystery to everybody it said well how can this be an electron going around the nucleus should be continuously radiating out energy therefore losing energy if it loses energy, it will lose velocity. If it loses velocity, it no longer has the speed required to stay in orbit, and the electron will begin to spiral inward, and the electron will collide with the proton. And every atom in the universe would do this thing, but as we know, they don't do that thing, otherwise we wouldn't exist. Atoms wouldn't exist, molecules wouldn't exist. So this was, in short, the big mystery of the atom. And they had no way out. They said, well, there's no explanation that we have why the atom stays the way it is, why the electron stays in orbit, why all electrons don't go spiraling inward. And finally, in the end, about 100, 110 years ago, we began to understand the concept of the quantum energy and started relating quantum energy to electrons. Perhaps electrons can exist in quantum states only. And once we began to look at that, we began to say that must be the solution to the big mystery of the atom. And so in the next video, we're going to start looking at the electron as a quantum object that may act very much like a photon and therefore only can exist in quantum states. And if an electron can only exist in quantum states, it may explain why the electron can only exist there and nowhere else, and that may prevent it from spiraling inward. So 
If you're interested, take a look at the next video and we'll show you how they very, in, in a very clever way, began to associate an electron with a photon saying that they may have the same properties, which may save it from this ultimate calamity. All right, so that's the big mystery of the atom.